the end of a hectic work week to hang out with our friends, get to know some new people from the startup community. Um, and we just take a little break to kind of review the, the week and talk about what's going on in St. Louis. So I'm Nick Niehaus, I'm your host, and I'm excited to introduce uh, Tamara Lovasek, who's from uh, Russia joining us this week. Sorry, I think I messed up your last name. What was it again? It was Tamara Lovasek, but... Lovasek, okay. sorry, there we go. All right, well, of course. So okay. we'll go ahead and get started here. So tell us a little bit about, uh, we're talking today about Capital Innovators Demo Day, which is coming up on May 15th, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so Capital Innovators... Um, is going to be revealing, I guess, their latest cohort, right? Uh, to latest cohort. Okay, cool. So, so tell be, us about the demo day. There will be 12 companies okay. uh, from four countries, actually, and uh, there will be artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain technologies, so a wide range of technologies. Okay. And we will be happy to see all of uh, um investors, uh, entrepreneurs, corporate players, and uh, other guests at the demo day. Um, cool. I've seen guys pitching, and they are really great. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So this is demo day, just so everybody uh, understands kind of what that is, is when the startups, is it at the end of the incubator yes. period, right? Yes. Okay. It is when um, uh, venture capital or accelerator showcase uh, sh showcases um, its latest companies. Cool. Uh, well, um, check capitalinnovators.com for tickets. Yeah. Okay. And again, that's coming up on May 15th. So if you're looking to get a ticket to that, make sure you get your tickets now before they sell out. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the rest of your background. So well, you've been in St. Louis for just a little bit now, right? The event is free, so we won't sell out. So oh, okay. okay. They're not going to sell out. <laughs> you can get tickets for free. So, okay. all right. Okay. Um, so you came over here. You're on mm -hmm. a grant. Is that right? Um, well, I'm, I'm participating in Professional Fellows Program, okay. which is uh, organized by American Councils. Uh, this is a program that lets people from different countries uh, come to the USA, learn something new, and return to their countries and make hmm. some great stuff there. Interesting. So, okay. Yes. And, um, Capital Innovators kindly asked me to uh, join their team for four weeks, okay. and it is really great. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. So this is so you're not the only one in the yeah. U.S. right now. There's yeah. people in other cities. Yeah, but but I'm on the only one in St. Louis here. Okay. But uh, we have a lot of people uh, from uh, Armenia, Belarus, Ukraine. Uh, from uh, we are participating in one part of the program, and okay. we also have the other part where participate people from Asian countries, Vietnam, Malaysia, mm. and others. So uh, my friends are at Hawaii, Seattle, oh, Chicago, okay. uh, and other places right now. So we are kind of discovering the USA. <laughs> cool, okay. And so the idea is then to take that experience back to your, Russia in your case. I mean, it sounds like some are coming uh -huh. from other countries. Yes, yes. The, um, the organizers, of course, hope uh, that we will find some partners here, that we will uh, learn a lot of new stuff, gain some new experience, mm -hmm. and we will be able to do our job more efficiently. And oh, okay. also, we will be uh, we will be able to um, develop some relations with the U.S. companies. It would be great, actually. Yes. Really? Okay. So part of what you're trying to do is kind of get to know the founders. Is that why you're with Capital um, Innovators while you're here? I'm here because I want to know a lot uh, uh, more about how venture capitals and accelerators work here in the USA. Okay. And our possible partners are mainly uh, venture capitals because we only invest in uh, Russian companies. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, but uh, we hope that our companies may uh, become global one day, mm -hmm. and some of them already are global. Um, and in that case, they need uh, some investors and. Uh, why not from the USA? Hmm. Because you have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of money here, and not only money, a lot of expertise, a lot of other opportunities, and it may be a good cooperation. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So back in Moscow, where you where you came from, mm -hmm. uh, you work for a similar organization to Capital Innovators, right? I think you're saying it's one of the biggest, maybe the biggest in Russia. Yes. Yeah. That's wow. correct. Well, it is called Internet Initiative Development Fund, okay. IIDF in short. Uh, uh, we uh, have more than 400 portfolio companies at the moment. Wow. We invest uh, at uh, pre-seed, seed, and Series A stage uh, stages. So, so we invest from uh, $35,000 to $5.4 million. Okay. So, uh, yes. 
Uh, I'm on the marketing team, so I'm, I'm responsible for getting us uh, uh, the best companies from the market. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So is there, uh, is it, does it work differently in Russia at all? Or is it, because I heard you say pre-seed all the way through A, those sound like the same as the United States, right? So is there any differences between the two? Well, um, I'm sure that there are a lot of differences. I didn't learn um, a lot yet. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, I know for sure that uh, those stages precede CITES and Series A uh, differ not only from country to country, but from VC to VC. So okay. different people call different things by their names. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, um, well, I, I've seen not so much yet, but looks like American entrepreneurs are basically more self-confident, hmm. uh, more ready to sell their products. But it's on the, the first impression. I have to check it. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So you might say self-confident, maybe overconfident in some no, cases, no. but no, they're just really good salespeople. Like I like that. I like their style. I like the style they tell about themselves, about their product, how they're involved in their businesses. Mm-hmm. I like it. I, I, I wouldn't say it's too much. Okay. So you but think it's maybe the right I, balance? I, I haven't seen uh, the bad cases yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You'll, you'll get some more exposure to the rest of them, right? Um, so tell us about, you know, so you're you're new to St. Louis. You said you've been here four weeks, right? I've been here for uh, for a week only. I came oh, okay. here. okay, gotcha. Yeah. I'll be here for uh, three more weeks. So four total, gotcha. Four total. Okay. Yeah, okay, so what have you thought of your first week in St. Louis? Um, first of all, I take a long walk through St. Louis because I wanted to meet city. I wanted to... Uh, see it with my own eyes mm-hmm. because I learned about, uh, okay, so, uh, of course I read a lot about St. Louis and other stuff and I've seen a very beautiful city. Of course, the, there are some um, um, some places where I felt a bit strange, but sure. uh, we have the same places back in Russia, of course, mm-hmm. and uh, I've seen great places here already. I've seen beautiful churches, uh, your basilica. Um, sure, yeah. I live ne- next to the forest park. It is beautiful. Mm. I was really impressed by the art museum uh, because, you know, Russia is a very cent- centralized country. You won't sure. see a lot of Van Gogh or Matisse in regional museum. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, by me, regional, I mean uh, museum not in Moscow. Sure. All other... Because everything outside of Moscow. Yeah, everything is in Moscow. Okay. And, uh, then I, ca- I came to St. Louis, I went to the art museum and I was like, wow, it is so great. Those people shall be really help- happy because they have access to great artists here in St. Louis. It is great. So yeah. It was a short advertisement of the art museum. I'm sorry, but it, I was really impressed. Good. Yeah. I needed to go to the art museum more often. I feel <laughs> like we, uh, we have a really good zoo here too. Yes. You know, there's a lot of like over 200 year old buildings, a lot of cool architecture. Yeah. And I think a lot of us here kind of take a lot of that for granted. So it's and a good reminder that it's it's world class. Yeah, uh, I want to check the zoo this weekend. Uh-huh. And uh, of course I want to go for a walk a lot be- more because I want to see more of those beautiful buildings. Yeah. yeah I like city architecture and I like uh, the style uh, that uh, presents here in St. Louis. Really, okay. okay. That's good to hear, yeah. I think we... Uh, <laughs> Again, you know, a lot of the people in St. Louis live in the county or they live, you know, even like an hour's drive away from oh. downtown. And oh, okay. so I think a lot of people actually kind of avoid downtown or the city, which is unfortunate. So how does uh, I know Forest Park is kind of one of our big crown jewels in St. Louis. Do you guys have similar types of parks in Moscow, I would think? Or Well, we have a lot of parks in Moscow, mm-hmm. but most of them are more like um more wild parks. I like them. I like to run there and uh, to have walks there. Uh, it is also great. And Forest Park looks uh, good as well. As hmm. for uh, coming to downtown, it is quite... Um, uh, there are not so many people there on Saturday. So yeah. <laughs> if, if you, you want to check downtown, it is a great time, I think. Yeah, there's not much going on on the weekends in the city, although it's getting better. It used to be completely empty on the, yeah. on the weekends. Oh, yeah, okay. like a few years ago, if it came down, you wouldn't see probably anyone. So uh-huh. it's getting more busy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I think we're going to uh, transition now, bringing in Eric. And Eric is going to be telling us a little bit about the bourbon this week. And it is the uh, Kentucky Derby tomorrow. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. And Eric's obviously in his uh, Derby getup, which looks great. <laughs> 
Thank so you. what are we uh, what are we drinking this week, Eric? Uh, so you know, before we a few weeks ago, we had just the regular Woodford Reserve. Okay. Um, yeah. And I mentioned that it was the official bourbon of the Kentucky Derby. Well, mm-hmm. the the two bourbons we have today are the double oak, which they take the regular Woodford Reserve, they put it back into new barrels, which changes the flavor. Okay. And then this actually came from my personal bar, and I bought this about a year ago at the distillery, and this is the double double oak. So mm, they put okay. it in another new oak barrel for another year. Gotcha. Uh, so it changes the flavor again. It makes, you know, actually mellows it out quite a lot where this hmm. sweetens it up. And, okay, so by doing it twice, it ends up more mellow versus I, I don't understand either, okay. <laughs> but, but it is... It is that. So, and I think you have the double double wood, and I, I think have you have the normal, the standard double, style. Double, double oak. Okay. Yeah. And we got a lot, of, a lot of good, a lot of doubles going on here. Yeah, so double oak and double double oak. Yeah. So. Cool. Well, so I know the this Bourbon Friday is kind of a special one for all of us here. So yep. we're kind of celebrating the uh, Kentucky Derby tomorrow. So mm-hmm. uh, did anybody else dress up? Uh, I don't know if you've seen any, everybody else yet, or there might be a couple people, but not too many. Not okay. Too many. All right. Um, so tell us about the Derby. So I mean, I you know I, I know the Derby's horse racing and whatnot. Um, Tamara is telling us that that is not the case in Russia. It actually means something different than that. So for our viewers who might not know about it, like why are we celebrating this? Why is this kind of like a party? So every year the Kentucky Derby is the biggest horse race of the year. Uh, happens in Louisville, Kentucky, and it is also the biggest party of the year in Louisville, Kentucky. There, they there you just go. everybody kind of gets dressed up. Women wear their big fancy hats, mm-hmm. uh, seersucker suits, bow ties, all of that. So it's just, you know, it gives everybody a reason to come out and celebrate. Each sure. Day, yeah, I've heard, uh, heard the, I don't know what they call this, the space inside of the Indian. horse track. That's yeah. like yeah. apparently a complete yeah. catastrophe in there, but that a lot of fun. That is my understanding as well. <laughs> yeah, so I know uh, they wear the big hats. You know, the guys, I'm, I'm wearing probably the last color you would wear for the Kentucky Derby, I would think, right? A lot of bright, bright colors and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So it's a big horse race. So what, what I think is interesting is it's not what you would refer to as a derby in Russia, right? So what would a derby be in Russia? Uh, something about um, some competition between football teams okay. and uh, soccer teams. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I mean, it, is, it, it is football in the rest of the yeah. world. You know, okay. We're the only country that says soccer, so... You're good. Um, so uh, when um, all the enemies meet and there are some other conditions, it is called derby. I'm hmm. not a soccer fan, so I don't know. Uh, but And I don't also know a lot about horse races. Maybe they call something derby in Russia <laughs> yeah, as, some as other... well. I just don't know. Maybe. Oh, huh, okay. So it's more of a, a sports uh, team event yeah, type of thing. Yeah, huh? kind of. Yes. Uh, so all football uh, players are waiting for some derbies. That's all I know because my boyfriend is a huge mm-hmm. football fan, mm-hmm. and but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so what, what's his favorite team? Who does he root for? Spartak. Okay. It is Moscow-based team, and he's from mm-hmm. Moscow. Uh-huh. He, he um, is their fan since he was uh, four years old. So he's he truly loves them. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm jealous because we almost got a soccer team, a football team, like a year ago, trying mm-hmm. to build a stadium, and uh, it's not happening. So we, oh. will not, we will not be getting our MLS team here, unfortunately. So it's a little sad, but we'll move on from that. It's okay. <laughs> um, well, so to wrap things up, I mean, Eric, you know, last, last question here is, uh, you know, we're doing Bourbon Friday like we normally do. It's four to seven every week. What's different about this one? Hmm. So I know we're doing mu- mint juleps, there right? There are mint juleps out okay. there, which is... The, tr- the traditional drink of the Kentucky Derby. So it's got uh, mint in it, obviously. Mint, what, what else mint, is in a mint bourbon, julep? sugar, and water. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Simple it, it enough. Is, it is a powerful drink. Okay. <laughs> so, so go eat. So, yeah, <laughs> sip, sip on it, maybe, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like a normal And, and there's some food out there and, and stuff like that. So just kind of a, like, a little bit bigger celebration than we normally would have. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, so if you are watching, you know, Bourbon Friday is uh, is uh, now open to guests. We would love to have you as our guest here if you'd like to join. So please uh, send us a message through the EQ page or you can reach out directly to me, Nick, or Eric as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for this week so we can get to uh, drinking these mint juleps and uh, enjoying the, the derby a little yep. bit. Um, I do want to thank uh, T-Rex for putting giving us space here to put the show on. Uh, we're in the Purina boardroom here, so that's a really awesome space. If you are a member of T-Rex or if you'd like to check T-Rex out, uh, this is an awesome place we can have a meeting with about 20 different people. Um, obviously, we like to also thank Vanessa Lobo, who produces the show for us through Connect Marketing. Um, and uh, thanks for tuning in. So we're here every Friday at 4.30. Make sure you like the Bourbon Friday page itself so you can see the episodes come up every single week. And uh, hopefully you'll tune in again next Friday.
Thank you.